In this video we're going to show you how to record motion events to a micro SD card installed inside an IP camera. We're using an Internet Explorer web browser. So we're just going to log in. Here's your camera. Uh, we're first going to go to Setup, System, General, Date and Time. We're going to sync the time to the PC. Go back to our live view and we'll see that 2018 6 27 and the correct time is displayed on the camera feed now we're going to make sure that uh, motion recording settings are properly configured we're first going to go to event video detection and we see we have motion enabled which is good and then we're going to go to area and then setup you can remove all and then create a zone. The colored zone will show uh, just where motion events will be triggered. For example, if I were to move my hand, you could see that it's actually being triggered right now. So we're going to save this and click save again. Next, we're going to go to storage and schedule. Uh, this is just to set up the schedule for recording. You can hit setup for each day. In this case, we're going to select all. And it's going to be motion for all. Motion is shown by the yellow bar. So you see that it's yellow for each day of the week, 24 7. We're just going to click save. Last thing to figure is record control, and we just want to make sure the record mode is auto, which would be the scheduled recording that we just saved. So we're recording to a micro SD card, and to see that the card is being registered by the camera, we're going to go to destination, then the local tab. Here you'll see the SD card is being named as disk 1, the status is normal, and it's able to read and write, and you'll see that video is being recorded to it. So let's go back to our live view and trigger a motion recording. So I'm going to wave my hand. You will see over here that uh, this little siren icon lights up red indicating a motion event has been detected. And once there's no longer motion it will go back to gray. Let's go to our playback. We're first going to make sure that the file type DAV is selected and data source SD card and that we have selected today. And here in the timeline you'll see multiple motion recordings. You can also go to this file list to see all the different uh, motion events that were recorded. For example, we just double click the last one that occurred at uh, just a minute ago. And see if we see what triggered the motion event. And it was me waving my hand and we can go to other motion recorded events and also see them in the timeline. Thanks for watching.